This is a short video to tell you about some of the changes to our ways of working, particularly in relation to returning to our offices and buildings. People have always been our priority. So as lockdown measures start easing, we're committed to ensuring our workplace is safe for everyone from staff and members of the public to contractors and volunteers working alongside us. Representatives from all directorates, including Property, IT, HR and Unison, have worked together to ensure measures are in place to reopen our buildings safely while adhering to infection control and social distancing guidance. You may be familiar with the phrase, the new normal, meaning as we start returning to normal life, there'll be some changes to how we'll operate on a day-to-day -day basis. And for some of you, this may mean continuing to work from home if at all possible. For others, as we start opening to the public, it may mean returning to the office for all or part of your working week. Whatever your circumstances, it's important to remember safety is all our responsibility. So please stay up to date with the current government guidance by visiting www.gov.uk forward slash coronavirus. If you need to return to working in the office, this has to be at the request of or approved by your line manager. If you have a medical issue or are in a high risk group, your manager will carry out an individual risk assessment with you to make sure all reasonable measures have been taken to ensure your safety. If you do return, you'll notice some things will have changed in our offices and buildings. Clear notices on display warning people not to come into the building if you are ill or have suspected coronavirus symptoms. It's important if you think you or any member of your family are experiencing symptoms or have been contacted by NHS 111 as potentially at risk, that you do not come into the office. Symptoms include a new or persistent cough, a fever or high temperature, a loss of smell or sense of taste. If you're experiencing these symptoms, isolate yourself and speak to your manager. If contacted by the new test and trace service, please follow its instructions, but inform your manager at the first available opportunity. Social distancing measures will be in place to help ensure you keep the required distance apart. Please respect other people's space and be patient. Everyone is adjusting to a new way of working and not everyone will get this straight away. You will notice some rooms only allow two or three people in them. Please don't exceed this number. Please only use the entrance and exit you are asked to use. If your building has a one-way system due to narrow corridors or walkways, don't go against them. Please support others by pointing out the new one-way system to those who might not realise it's in place. Before coming in, you'll agree with your manager which desk to use. Remember to clean it when you leave, as others may also be sharing your desk on days that you aren't in. Your desk must be kept clear of paperwork and personal items to reduce any spread of infection. The biggest change you will notice is toilets are now mixed gender, but limited to one person only. Locks have been installed on the main doors, so please make sure you lock the door behind you. We've increased the cleaning in all of our buildings, from emptying waste bins around the building to ensuring regular cleaning of high touch points including door handles, stair rails, fridges, vending machines and touchscreens. To protect you and others, please wash your hands regularly with soap and water. Use hand sanitizer where you don't have access to soap and hand washing facilities. Please use designated breakout areas to eat food where you can. Please don't prepare any foods in the offices but bring food ready to eat. Remember, we all have a responsibility to one another and a duty as colleagues to protect the health, safety and well-being of each other. This means we have to pay attention to the guidance on good hygiene practice and social distancing both in and outside the workplace. If you're concerned that someone's not keeping to safe practices or behaving inappropriately, then if you feel comfortable, talk to them. They may not even realise. If you still think there is an issue, then discuss with your manager on the best way to address it. Be kind. 
These changes might be stressful or frustrating for some, and we need to look out for each other and support colleagues who may be struggling with changes. Everyone is adjusting to a new way of working, and not everyone will get this right away. Remember, we're all in new territory. So while we begin the recovery process and things slowly return to this new normal, if you see something that could be improved or have concerns that something may be unsafe, please discuss this with your manager or report to the health and safety team by emailing healthandsafety at wokingham.gov.uk and we will work with you to help.